it going? It's Easter. Oh my gosh. Okay. First off, Easter is my all time favorite holiday. Like I love Christmas cause like, you know, snow and prettiness, but Easter is so great. I love the spring. I love the freshness. And also I love that we get to celebrate Jesus. And I know we celebrate Jesus at Christmas, but in at Easter, it's just amazing because Jesus gave his life for us. And we're going to talk about that more, but I just love how fresh and exciting things are. And I know it's, it's been snowing like right now. It just, it just snowed and I was quite upset. I cried a little bit on the inside, but it's fine. I hope you guys have been having a great week, weather permitting and all those things, but I have missed you guys. Oh my gosh. It's been, it's been a week. It's been a week. Hi. Well, we're going to get into some fun stuff because we're talking about Easter and it's Sunday and we can celebrate and party it up and life is great. Okay. You ready? We're going to play a game. Now this is going to be a little bit of a different game because I'm going to need you to close your eyes. Not yet. Not yet. Keep those eyes open. Okay. So what we're going to do is you're going to close your eyes when I tell you to. And then when I say open them, okay, actually when I say one, two, three, you're going to put either two hands up for two ears because we're, this is a game called one ear, two ears or tail. So it's a little Easter bunny game. So what you're going to do is you're going to close your eyes. And then when I say one, two, three, you're going to put either one. If you think I'm going to have one, you want to copy me. You want to match me. So if you think I'm going to have only one year or if I'm going to have two years or no years, then you're going to do that. Okay. Let's do a practice round and then I'll let you guys do it a couple times. Maybe challenge your parents, challenge your siblings, have some fun with it. Sound good. All right. Okay. So maybe like whoever wins doesn't have to do dishes. That's pretty nice. Okay. So we're going to close our eyes. Everyone close your eyes. Okay. Three, two, one. Oh, you can open them. Did you match me? Do we, do you have two ears going on? Okay. You get it. We're going to close our eyes. And we're going to do it again and it's going to be super fun. Okay. Ready? We're going to close our eyes again and close. Three, two, one. Oh, are they open? Do you also have one ear? Maybe you don't. Okay. Ready? Close those eyes. Three, two, one. Open. What do you got? Do you got two? Okay. We're gonna do it one more time. Close those eyes. Three, two, one. None. We got a tail. Okay. One more time. One more time. Cause I really like this game. Ready? Close those eyes again. Three, two, one. <laughs> two ears like a bunny. I feel like bunnies have bigger ears than just like these. Okay. My friends, I love talking about Easter. You already know that. I just, I think it's great. We've been talking about how Jesus loves us. And today we're talking about how Jesus came to be our savior. It's actually, it's so crazy. This whole Easter story, the whole life of Jesus is so cool and it affects our lives and our world so much. So we want to celebrate Easter. We want to keep this party going. We got fun games. We're living it up. So do you know why? Like sometimes we, we dress up to go to Easter church. I don't know if you guys ever did that or I've done that before, but like my parents would like dress me up in like these really big gowns. There's a photo of me as a kid and it's literally like, I'm in this big white gown being held by a bunny, like a guy in a bunny mask. And I'm screaming, like I'm scream crying and I want it out of there. Anyways, that's just a little story from Shay's life. So why, why do we have a big meal? Like sometimes maybe last year you guys had a big meal with your families or I'm doing a big zoom meal with some of my friends for Easter this year. Why are we celebrating? something like this in such a big, heavy time. Cause right now there's a lot going on and it might feel hard to celebrate. Might be, might feel hard to celebrate Easter and to celebrate Jesus in this time because there's just so much going on and there's so much that we're feeling. So there's a lot worth celebrating guys. There's like, Jesus is worth celebrating in so many ways. Well, here's, here's something awesome. Easter, isn't canceled. 
Easter still happens. Jesus still rose from the grave and he rose from you. He rose for you. God is with you and he is for you and he loves you. That he sent his one and only son to die for you. And we're going to get into the story more, but we're going to go through a super big event in our world. Because right now we're going through one, hey? It feels like we're going through a big one. But we get to focus on the best big event this world has ever encountered. What is it? It's Easter, that's right. So Easter is about the most amazing event that has ever happened. Easter is about something that someone did for you and for me. Who is that someone? Jesus. That's right, you're smart, you got this. So for everyone in the entire world, Jesus did this. He died for us. He died for everyone. So in just a minute, I have another video for you guys to watch. It's going to be this guy, and he's going to be explaining it with a bunch of emojis. I don't have a lot of emojis around me right now, but he does, and it's super cool. So it's going to tell you the true story and this true amazing event that happened. And it comes from our Bible. Do you got your Bibles? I hope you got your Bibles. Woo! Because we're in church. We got our Bible. We got the word of God because everything here is true. And it's God's word to us to tell us all the important things. Now, this comes from Luke 23 and Luke 24, 1 to 9. Okay. But I want to prepare you guys for what you're going to hear. Because my friend in a minute, I don't really know his name. I'm going to call him Dave. I feel like his name is going to be Dave. Um, he, he goes through the story with us. And it's actually like pretty cool but chapter 23 all talks about the trial that Jesus went through because people didn't like Jesus like a lot of people did but there were some people who didn't like what he was doing so they put him on trial they they wrongfully accused him of doing bad things and then they crucified him on the cross right and when he died he defeated death because now when we die we can when we believe in Jesus and believe that he's the one way to heaven, one way to God, we can go to heaven because Jesus defe defeated death and he made a way for us to be with God. Okay, I'm giving away the entire story. But before we get into it, I'm just going to get you guys prepared. So like any really good story from history, this event has all things. It's got emotions and feelings like, hmm, what kind of feelings do you think is in this story? How about there's some happy emotions that go on in here um it's happy it's joyful the story starts out like that but then it turns it turns and it turns kind of upsetting right because people start getting what's this one what's that one angry people start getting angry man there's so there's so many like there's a lot of angry people in this story and they do something that makes a lot of people feel, what do you think people felt? They felt sad. This is a part of the story, there's a part of the story that is sad and it's terribly sad. But then something amazing happens that turns the sadness into, okay, you know what? I have just given up this entire story to you. I'm gonna give it over to my friend Dave. It's probably not his name, but we're just gonna call him Dave today. You gotta hear the story. You gotta see it. It's so great. Okay, ready, set. You got your thinking caps on. You got your listening ears on. We got our hands in our laps because we're ready to listen. Okay, I will see you after the video. Happy Easter, everyone. <laughs> Isn't it an awesome day? <laughs> These guys certainly think so. But hold up though, do you know why we celebrate Easter? I mean, why is Easter so incredible? Well, let me tell you, it's an incredible story that has to do with you and me and really everyone in the whole world. And it all centers around a man named Jesus. Now, Jesus is a lot of things. First of all, Jesus is awesome. <laughs> but you may have already known that. So let's talk about why Jesus is awesome. What makes Jesus so amazing? Well, for starters, Jesus is a friend who cares. In the Bible, we see how Jesus cared for people. He cared for his friends. He cared for the poor. He cared for the sick. 
And Jesus cares for us. He loves us more than anything, more than dolphins, more than basketball, more than ice cream, more than all the stars in the sky, which is why God sent his son Jesus to the world. It, it all started right before the very first Easter. Jesus had been arrested. Yeah, an angry crowd of people arrested Jesus. They lied and said Jesus stirred up trouble wherever he went, which wasn't true. Jesus was perfect, but the angry crowd said Jesus should die. And even though Jesus had never done anything wrong, they put him on a cross and he died. And then they buried Jesus in a cave and, and they rolled this huge rock in front of the entrance so no one could get to Jesus. Everyone thought that Jesus was gone. His friends were so sad. But two days later, a couple of Jesus' friends went to the place where he was buried. And when they got there, they saw something that totally shocked them. The big stone that was in front of where Jesus was buried was rolled to the side. Two angels appeared and told them that Jesus was alive. He wasn't dead. Jesus was alive. They ran to tell all their friends that Jesus wasn't there. He was alive. And we should celebrate that too, you and me, because Jesus did all of this so we could have a relationship with God. Because we, we have a sin problem. You know, the things that we do that are wrong, like when we disobey, or if we lie, or if we treat people poorly, or we're not kind or generous, that sin gets in the way of us having a relationship with God. And we can't fix that on our own. So Jesus came to help. Jesus died so our sins could be forgiven. <laughs> Jesus came to be our savior so we could have a relationship with God, both now and forever in heaven. <laughs> That's why we celebrate Jesus on Easter, because Jesus came to be our savior. Welcome back. Man, what in the world? Jesus is alive. As we saw, this true story is called the crucifixion and the resurrection. We talked about where it comes from in the Bible, and it comes from Luke 23 and Luke 24, 1 to 9. Because Jesus was crucified, which means he hung on a cross to die, which is so makes us so sad that he had to die, that he had to leave the earth. But there's a second part. He he didn't just he didn't just leave, but he came back. He resurrected. Resurrection. Resurrection means Christ rising from the dead. So he died, but then he rose again. That's why people say he is risen. On Easter, maybe you hear your parents saying it, maybe at church and stuff you've heard it before, but people will say he is risen, and we say he is risen indeed. Can you guys say that with me? I'll say he is risen, you say he is risen indeed. Ready? He is risen! That's right! Oh my goodness, you guys are so loud. I heard you all the way over here. So Jesus did not die, but he is alive. He is risen from the grave. Guys, this is something we get to celebrate because it's amazing. He beat death. Why did he die? Do you remember from the video? Do you remember why he died? He died to save us from our sin, to let us have a relationship with God. He got, you saw all that, all that sin with all those emojis that were like blocking us from God. And then when Jesus died, he gave us that pathway that we can be connected with God again. Man, his friends saw him die, but then he came back to life. I've never heard anyone else do that before. He came back to life and it was amazing. It's the most amazing event in the entire universe. The most amazing thing that has ever happened. And you know what? That makes me want to celebrate. It really does because he, he died and he rose again to be with us. 
because he didn't want to leave us. He wanted us to know that he, he, had be, he had beaten death. No one had ever done that before. So I think it calls for a celebration. I think it's pretty great. We got some eggs. I got my little shaker here. It's a celebration, man. We, that's what we do with, with Easter. We celebrate. And it should make you want to celebrate too. Believing, not just knowing, but truly believing in your heart, with your mind and with your heart. Believing that Jesus came to be our Savior. Guys, he did. He came for us. He came because he knew we needed a Savior. That when he died and came back to life, Jesus made a way for us to have a relationship with God and he saved us. Because we do wrong things all the time, but God sent Jesus that we could be forgiven. Now, he doesn't want us to keep doing those wrong things, but he wants us to know that we're forgiven and that we're saved from our, our wrong way of life because we have Jesus. And that's why we should celebrate. It's, it's what Easter's all about, celebrating that Jesus came to be our savior. Guys, I like I love Easter so much because it just reminds me, and I've heard this story multiple times, and you've probably heard it so many times too, but it's so fresh to me because Jesus died for us because he loves us. He came to save us. How crazy is that, man? And a way that we can remember that is our memory verse, right? We've been talking about it. We did it upside down last week, and this week, Actually, we're gonna mix things up a little bit. We have a video from one of our teachers and you know her, her name is Miss Emma. She's amazing, she has a little clip for you guys and she's gonna tell the verse. Now, to make it more fun, I'm gonna get you guys to pause the video after I'm done explaining this. So, you're gonna go grab a balloon, a ball, something that you can bounce. Maybe it's just with yourself or maybe a sibling or a parent and you're gonna toss the ball and you're gonna say the words with Miss Emma as you say our memory verse. And as it goes up in the air, every time you hit it, you're gonna say the words. Does that make sense? We've done it a few times when we're together. Now, our memory verse is John 15, 13. Now, before Emma gets into it, I'll tell you it really quick. Ready? Greater love has no one than this, to lay down one's life for one's friend. All right, you're gonna pause. And come back. Welcome. Okay. Good job. You got your ball. You're ready. We're going to cut to Miss Emma and she's going to tell us all about our memory verse. Hey friends. Hope you guys are finding lots to do during this crazy season and you guys are staying safe. We miss you so much. The verse of the month is John 15, 13 and it says, greater love has no one than this to lay down one's life for one's friends. Hope you guys have a great week. Bye. All right, welcome back. How great. I love that we can learn verses from the Bible, that we can have them in our hearts and our brains so we know the truth of God and the truth that Jesus is for us. So next part of our time together, we're going to talk about some questions. Just kidding. The questions are not in here, but I just, oh, it's so sad. I just like grabbing these eggs here because oh, cause it's Easter. Who doesn't like an egg, right? All right, so question number one for you. Are you ready for this? Do you think you got it? I think you got it. Why do we celebrate Easter? You're so smart, I know you have this. We celebrate Easter because Jesus died on the cross for our sins. Jesus, Jesus died so that our sins would not separate us from him. Jesus died and rose again so we could live with God forever. Right, we've talked about heaven before because in reality, we pass away from our earthly, from being human, but we have this wonderful time to be with Jesus in heaven. We get to be with God, but the only way we're able to go to heaven is through who? Through Jesus, that's right. Knowing and believing that he died for us. And that's why we celebrate Easter, because he's our savior and he died for us. Okay, why is it the most amazing thing that has ever happened? Why, why is, why is Easter one of the most amazing things that's ever happened? I know you got this. That's right, because Jesus is our savior. It's the most amazing thing that's ever happened because it's the only event in our lives that connects us to God, that, that forgives us. Now, there's a lot of events in our lives that connect us to God, but Jesus, Jesus died so that we 
could be forgiven, right? So it connects us. It's that forgiveness that God has given us through Jesus. It's amazing. It's so great. Guys, I love Easter so much. I love you guys. I miss you guys so much. And I'm so excited for when we get to be together. Now, I hope you guys are enjoying the sun. I'm really praying that it is going to be nice and sunny so we can go on family walks. We can hang out together. We can call some family members and see how they're doing. Guys, even something amazing you could do is you could write a letter to a friend and say, Happy Easter, he is risen. Because we want to tell everyone that Jesus is risen. It's amazing. Oh my goodness. Now, I don't know about you guys, but there's a cool thing happening where we have the Easter like drive-by where we can get into our cars and we can go look at people's really pretty windows. If you haven't checked it out, check it out on our website. Get your parents to go check it out at... Go drive around the neighborhood. Go look at some pretty cool windows. Okay, you are loved, you are missed, and I'm gonna pray for you guys before we end our time together. Sound good? All right. Lord God, I thank you so much that we are able to celebrate your son. I thank you that he is risen, Lord, that Jesus is not dead. He is alive. I thank you so much for the love that you have for us. I thank you that we are able to be forgiven through you. Thank you, Jesus, so much for being our savior. Will you bless us? Will you bless each person right now? Will you give them peace in their homes? Will they know you? Will they just be able to celebrate you in all the ways they can in this season? In your holy, mighty name, everyone said, amen. That's bright. All right, dudes, we will see you next week. Bye, friends.